Today we'll be using the Millwright Mega VXL CNC machine to make some low profile hold down clamps. The Mega VXL offers the best balance of multiple pro features at a very reasonable price. We consider it to be the best value in the CNC market. The clamps are great for both your CNC table and many other clamping surfaces. For materials, this project requires half inch plywood. More detailed instructions for this and other CNC projects, including plans for making a second arch type clamp, are available in Ralph Bagnell's Beginner's Guide to CNC Machining in Wood. We use Vectric VCarve Pro software for all CAD CAM operations shown. The free G code sender is available directly from Millwright's website. The tooling used in the video is the Infinity Tools Solid Carbide Quarter Inch Straight Router Bit. Also featured in this video is our 149 piece hardware kit, which is a great complement for CNC machines. It's also useful for making your own shop made jigs and fixtures. As with any CNC project, we will need to create or obtain a CAD drawing. Open your software and begin setting up your workspace. Set X and Y to 3 inches square and Z to 0.5 inches. Uncheck the offset box and set the XY datum position to the center. Draw a 5 16 inch circle in the center. Now offset a 2 and a half inch circle from the one you've just drawn in the center. Create two additional circles to define the rabbit that runs along the bottom of the clamp. One circle should be one quarter inch larger in diameter than the outer rim. The other should be one half inch smaller in diameter than the outer rim. Next we move on to toolpath creation. We will be using a pocket toolpath to create the rabbit. Set the depth to one eighth of an inch. Make sure you activate the ramp function. This moves the bit gradually into the cut rather than plunging directly to full depth. This prevents overheating and potentially dulling your bit. Now select the two vectors between which you want the pocket cut. Name your toolpath something descriptive and specific. And calculate the toolpath. Go through the same steps as the rabbit to set up the pocket toolpath for the hole. Set the depth to a full one half inch for this operation. Again, make sure to use the ramp function to keep from overheating. We will use the standard profile toolpath to cut out the milled part. Add some tabs to keep the part secure during the cutout phase. Setting the tabs is more an art than a science, and you may need to experiment to figure out what works with any particular project. I found it best to try and get away with the shortest and thinnest tabs possible. I approach tab placement in much the same way, as few as possible. Make sure you continue using the ramp command. Now calculate the toolpath and rename it. Preview all three toolpaths you've created by clicking Preview All Visible Toolpaths. After that, close the toolpath preview section and click the floppy disk icon to save all visible toolpaths to one file. Now we open up the UGS Universal G-Code Center. 
open the file we just saved in Vectric. Make sure everything looks correct, and if so, connect the computer to the CNC machine. Then hone your machine, set a zero point, and cut out your parts. If you've not already done so, prepare a small 8 inch by 8 inch square and secure it on the spoil board. You may notice here that we've only set up our program to cut one clamp at a time, despite the fact that the workpiece is sized for four. This was a personal choice in case we wanted to just cut one in the future. If we had set up four all at the same time, then the saved DXF file would require cutting four clamps just to replace one. It doesn't take long to re-zero the machine at another part of the workpiece and restart the program. The workpiece and part size in this project are sized so that each new clamp can be re-zeroed. Simply jog your machine to a center point about two inches from the two adjacent edges. Now that the machine is finished cutting, you just need to pop the clamps out of the webbing. As you can see, I made my tabs a bit too thick, and there was quite a bit of them still attached when I snapped them out. Next, I sand any rough edges left by the tabs, but this isn't absolutely necessary. The clamps are purely utilitarian and don't need to be perfect. Remember, it's easy to make more. All that's left is obtaining hardware to attach the clamps to your work surface. You now have a whole army of new, and likely as important, cheap, hold-down devices. If you're looking for a CNC machine, get the best construction and more quality features for your money with Millwright CNC. The Mega VXL is made and is supported in the U.S. This machine is sized for all your CNC needs from small items to cabinetry.